I have been in Tatara Suna for some time now. You have shown me great hospitality, as has Mikoshi Nagamasa, and indeed, everyone else. Under your leadership, Tatara Suna is a warm, welcoming place, like a giant village. People are gainfully employed, their lives have purpose, they are motivated. As I understand, the Raiden Shogun has, in recent years, eliminated much of the evil that plagued Inazuma. As for Tatara Suna, it was originally established as a means of safely disposing Crystal Marrow. The forging industry with Crystal Marrow as a raw material has since flourished, giving rise to generations of swordsmiths. Some world-renowned, others unknown. All passing on their legacy. Skills, blood, dreams. Every smith brought into this trade looks to find their purpose between steel and blade. That is why you accepted the proposal brought to you by myself and Akame. Yes, well, were it not for you coming to Inazuma and happening to make Akame's acquaintance, the two of you never would have joined forces. And he would be the first to admit that there's no way he could have revolutionized our forging process like this on his own. At least not on the same timescale. You allowed Akame to take all the credit for a method that you jointly developed. He sold it to me. And now, every piece of ore here is smelted using the new technique. Even now, you remain one of Tatara Suna's key consultants, working right here alongside us. I believe it is you, sir, who are truly responsible for the changes in our manufacturing and forging methods. <laughs> you flatter me. From the outset, I saw much that was commendable in the forging industry of Inazuma, and it has been my great honor to befriend you all. So you say, Escher. But is this really the truth? My good sir, what do you mean? I tried to resist thinking it was all connected because I didn't want to speculate, and I didn't want to believe that things could turn out this way. What have we gained from adopting your new technology? Ominous black smoke? Mounting production problems? Worker fatigue and casualties are up and continuing to rise at an alarming rate. And recently, as you well know, someone died because of that strange filth inside the furnace. We've kept the truth from spreading outside, but still, I suspect you understand it better than I do. None of the people who went out to get help have come back. Now, our mutual friend, the Kabuki Mono, is taking the Golden Feather to Narukami Island to seek an audience with Shogun. This is our last hope, but that doesn't phase you, does it, Escher? Nothing does. Otherwise, why would you still be standing there with that smile on your face? I'm just surprised that you finally chose to be so sincere. I'm sure you've been harboring these suspicions for quite some time. <sighs> Mikoshi Nagamasa may have noticed that there was one common denominator among all these events. Namely you, Escher. But Mr. Mikoshi is more cautious than I. He does things by the book. After all, Nagamasa is the adopted son of Mikoshi Torachio. The yokai struck down by the shogun's own hand. If he truly seeks to redeem his family's honor, an abundance of caution is well advised. You're well informed on the subtleties of his situation for a mechanic all the way from Fontaine. Are you sure you're not a little overqualified? Why, Mr. Niwa, are you suggesting I find a job as a diplomat? Sadly, I am so very attached to my craft. Enough, Escher. I'm here because an evil force is raging inside the furnace. And someone needs to take your new device inside the high-risk zone so we can absorb it and put an end to the problem. I'm in charge here. And I'm about to take some responsibility and head inside. Probably to my death. But what about you? What are you still doing here? Judging from the look in your eyes, you don't seem to trust me. Drop the act! We're past that now. Whoever you are, it looks like your plan to destroy Tatara Suna has worked. I just want to know what you're still doing here. What's left? 
Don't you have all your answers by now? Honestly, I'm just waiting for the right moment. A moment like this, where you finish talking and I stop you from entering the furnace. <sighs> you... You... <sighs> You're a little smarter than I initially gave you credit for. I thought I'd disguise myself exceptionally well, at least for the first few days. But to my surprise, you had your people look into my background right from the start. It's a long journey from Inazuma to Fontaine, but that didn't stop them. Eventually, they managed to confirm that Escher was an alias, and that I was not from Fontaine at all. And yet, despite all of that, you still fail to realize my true identity, and what I seek in Tatarasuna. Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? <clears throat> if you kill me, there's no one who can get inside the furnace. So you're really going to destroy this place? Is that it? Oh, but you're quite wrong. There is one other person. Mm, some may not see him as a person, but you told him yourself. You're not a puppet. You're a human. You're just missing a heart. <gasps> Whoever you're working for won't get away with this. They'll be found out. But... This makes no sense. What are you really trying to accomplish by all this? Why go to all this trouble? It's no trouble at all. Patience is a virtue which I have in abundance. This is all part of a carefully controlled experiment. If you must know, I'm happy to divulge my true identity. I'm a Fatui Harbinger. Call me... The Doctor. The... Fatui? Who... What do you want? Just to create a... minor inconvenience for your nation. That's it? That's why you... gave us your cursed technology? Just to let loose the evil energy from the Crystal Marrow? <laughs> Look how even the righteous soul is filled with venom when faced with its demise. My device functions precisely as you say. It is the only chance you have of preventing a catastrophe and keeping the truth from the outside world. However, I did not make it with you in mind. It is easier for a person to be possessed by evil spirits when they are filled with hate. So give in to your fury. I want to see what happens when a malevolent heart is placed into an unsuspecting puppet. Make no mistake, even without you, that pure, innocent puppet would only end up being used by someone else instead. What other reason would a human have for befriending one who is not of our kind? <clears throat> If you give him my heart, tell him that both Nagamasa and I see him as one of us. He has nothing to prove to anyone, because not everyone just wants to use other people, the only ones who think like that are people like you. What a beautiful way to see the world. It almost makes me feel a little guilty. Hmm. Then out of respect for you, I shall redefine myself. Think of me as a monster or a demon, if you wish. At least this way your death is not a consequence of your own folly turning you into an easy target. You simply lost to something more powerful than you could ever hope to defeat. 
I say, Mr. Niwa, let's see what happens. Will your puppet friend become a human? No, that will prove quite impossible. Mr. Niwa? Already dead. What a pity. <sighs> Jester, I have completed the task you gave me. Creating a gap and infiltrating Inazuma's inner workings. <laughs> what fun it was. I'd like to introduce a puppet to you. If he proves useful, let's make him our newest comrade. And if not, let's turn him to dust. Are you all right? <laughs>